Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to American Government, Political Science 1101. I am Dr. Ricci, and I will be your professor for this semester, and it is my hope that this will be the most exciting and the most engaging course that you take at East Georgia State College. This is a 12-week course. It is accelerated. There is no spring break. It is full throttle, American politics, American government, and in this course, we'll be looking at some of the great issues in the public sphere today. We'll be surveying the institutions of American government. And we're going to be learning about those aspects of how that system is influenced. And also, it's certainly my hope that we will have some fun. Okay, let's get started. This is day one, 30 January 2023. Let me recommend that you download the syllabus, which is the in the first file in the content section of D2L. As you know, all of this course will be delivered through D2L, our learning management system. The syllabus will look something like this. This is just a rough copy. I have some notes, so you've seen many of these before. Okay, let's talk about some basic aspects of the class that you should be preparing for. Again, my name is Dr. Lee Cheek. All of my contact information is in the front of the syllabus. Uh, my email is lcheek at ega.edu. My Statesboro campus office phone is there, as well as my Google Voice line. I also have my office hours for the whole semester that are there for you. I have online office hours. We call those virtual hours, as well as uh, hours uh, on the Swainsboro campus. Okay, Political Science 1101 has three textbooks. And thanks to the University System of Georgia for giving me a grant, all of these are provided for you free of charge. I look a little bit like Santa Claus, and I act a little bit like Santa Claus when it comes to textbooks. All are available to you free of charge. They're in the textbook folder of the content file in D2L. It's on the left of the screen. You'll get very conversant with D2L. First, the main textbook is by Kurtz, entitled American Government. The second text, especially when it comes to primary documents we'll be looking at all semester, is by James McClellan. It's called Liberty, Order, and Justice. There's a third textbook uh, by Kenneth Minogue that we'll only be looking at once or twice during the semester. But the first two are very, very important. Uh, you can even download them from our D2L course website. Some of the course learning objectives, what we hope you learn in this class, are provided for you. I recommend that you read those very carefully as well as part of the syllabus. Um, how is your grade determined in this class? We will have 10 quizzes. These are short quizzes, usually on Friday. Look at the course calendar. The course calendar is your definitive guide. It is part of the syllabus. 10 of those, typically 10 questions, following the two lectures from that week. And again, as I mentioned, usually on Fridays. And uh, these are just to make sure that you're among the academic living, that you're paying attention, you're doing the reading, you're listening to the lectures, you're thinking about politics. Also, we will have four exams. Uh, the last one being the final exam, which is comprehensive in nature. The dates for every quiz, the dates for every exam are in the syllabus. Now, I've been teaching this class for 35 years, and I take it very seriously. I consider myself sort of an evangelist for civic literacy, for American government, because you are the future American, not me. I'm an old guy. I'm going to go to the Methodist home pretty soon. Uh, not literally, not, uh, but seriously, at some point, uh, you're going to be running the country. You're going to be running your communities. You're going to be in charge of, of families. And you need to know about uh, the political system in the United States so you can maneuver, you can make a, uh, a contribution to that political system. You may be run for office in that. It's certainly my hope and prayer. Okay. Ten quizzes. I dropped to two lowest scores. Four exams. I drop one. There are no makeup exams. No makeup quizzes, especially quizzes. No excuses. Don't write me. Don't call me. I drop two. You have to take them on the day they're assigned. 
uh, both exams and quizzes. You have one day, a full day, to complete each one of them. Each one, each quiz, each exam will open at 4 a.m. in D2L and close at 11.59 p.m. Your final grade is uh, your three highest exam scores and the average of your eight highest quiz scores. Three highest exams, three of the four are the highest, I drop one, and then quizzes, uh, you will get the average of your eight highest. That constitutes your grade. So those four grades make up your final grade. Okay, keep in mind the D2L, I can check anytime I want to to see if you're logging in, to see, see if you're participating in the course, and I will do that. This is just like a traditional class. You should log in every day, do your reading in advance of the lecture, and be prepared. Just a note on lectures. Um, again, I've been teaching this class for 35 years. Uh, I have a PhD in political science, uh, and I've written or edited 11 books on American politics. I am the real deal. This is a real course, but I've created it to help you learn, not to prove how much I know or how little I know, but to make you a better citizen. I don't care how you come out of this class. I don't care if you come out of this class as a Republican or a Democrat or a Libertarian or a Socialist worker or a golfer. I just want you to think more critically about American politics and American government and be prepared to help change the world in a positive way. Okay, we turn to the syllabus. You see on page seven, this is the course calendar. Actually, it's page six, excuse me. Uh, it begins on the bottom of page six. When you pull your syllabus uh, from D2L, you'll see at the bottom of the page it starts and it continues on in page seven, eight, uh, and nine. It gives you the breakdown of everything we're doing all semester. I'll also remind you through D2L, you really need to turn on your notifications in the top right by the image, by your image in D2L, so you'll get an update. You really can't take online classes or regular classes in the 21st century at American College or University without mastering the learning management system of that school. As I mentioned, ours is D2L. Part of mastering it is knowing the notifications. Okay, also, student enrollment verification assignment. The way you verify your attendance in a traditional class is you show up. In an online class, like our class, what you need to do is send me an email through D2L telling me your name, your major, or anticipated major, and thirdly, your favorite political figure. If you don't have one, that's okay. This assignment is in the syllabus. You need to send that to me by the 31st of January. That's our second day of class uh, by the close of business, 5 p.m. So I know you're in the class, and I can tell the registrar you're really taking the class. Uh, again, that assignment is in the syllabus, but the email verification uh, that you're in the class, uh, that's something you need to do by the 31st at 5 p.m. Okay, so when you look at the syllabus, let's look at the syllabus for a moment. Uh, you can't see this, but it has three parts. It has a major text, then the course calendar that I've already talked about and that you're probably already thinking about. On this side, you'll see the date. In the center, you'll see what we're going to cover that day. And uh, the readings for the day are in the next column over here. Okay, so pay attention to that. Uh, spend some time examining that. Okay, uh, the lectures will be embedded with the course, but in some, for some reason you cannot find them. You can go to YouTube, Lee, L-E-E, -E, space, Cheek, C-H-E-E-K, my name. All my lectures are there. You can also go to page... Uh, go, go to the back of the syllabus, and there are hyperlinks to each lecture for each day. I'll be loading them up uh, twice a week, and they'll mainly be loaded up. Most of our themes will, will have a theme on Tuesday and have another lecture on Thursday. Um, so, and it, Almost all the quizzes will be on Friday. Most of the exams on Friday, but there's a few times there at other dates just to fit the flow uh, of the course. Uh, that's the basic design of the course. Um, this is exciting, an exciting time to be studying American politics. We're um, less than two years for a presidential election. We have a divided uh, government. We have a Democratic president, Joe Robinette Biden. We have a Democratic Senate. The majority leader is uh, Chuck Schumer. But then we have a Republican House 
of Representatives with Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy. And so we call this, in political science terms, divided government. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a very exciting experience. You need to follow the schedule and follow it closely to do the very best. No makeup exams, um, no makeup quizzes, but I have a lot built into this course to help you. I'm going to give it 110%. I ask you to give it the best you can. Take the quizzes on time, take the exams on time, listen to the lectures, take notes, do the reading, and all the other things that are part of the course. If you will do that, you will do great. You will make a very good grade, and you will prepare yourself to be the finest citizen possible. I'm looking forward to our adventure. I'm ready for it to begin. Let's roll.